Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna and today I'm doing my November favorites. I'm so excited to be doing this because that means it's just one month closer to yearly beauty favorites. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I decided this year I wanted to split it up into two videos for my yearly beauty favorites. I wanted to do one high-end favorites, one drugstore favorites video just because I have so much to go through. I don't want it to be hours long because it will be hours long if I do one big video. But today I want to talk to you about all my November favorites. I have a kind of a mix match of things. I've probably talked about some already on my channel but that's okay because I want to let you know what I've been loving and there's quite a bit. So I don't want to ramble on too much. Um, if you guys don't know I have been vlogging for the month of December. I mean it's today's December 1st but I've been vlogging since Thanksgiving doing like vlogmas and I started early just because I wanted to. I had a bunch of stuff going on and I thought it'd be fun and I've been loving every minute of it. I'll leave my playlist link down below if you guys haven't seen them yet or if you're interested in watching them. You guys have really seemed to be liking them so far so I'm really happy that you are. I've been really having fun making them and having you guys follow me around even if I'm not doing too much but let me just jump into the favorites and I'll show you what I've been loving. So the first product I've actually sprayed a shit ton of this in my hair today and this is the caviar anti-aging working hairspray. This is perfect if you want that hold and texture but you don't want that crunchy like you cannot even touch your hair kind of hairspray because I if I use that with my hair my fine dry thin hair oh girl it'll be a hot mess. So I've been loving this. I literally sprayed probably the half the can on my hair today and you can still kind of mess around with it and play with it, which is what I love about it. It's amazing. Just like it says, it's a working hairspray. You can do whatever you want with it, but it's still going to give you hold and texture, which I really love. So I've been loving this and I've also tried a bunch of the stuff from their line and I've been loving that as well. Next, this is like a revolutionary game changing product for me. Holy crap. This is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. You guys, this has been absolutely amazing for my under eyes. I don't think my under eyes have ever looked this good, ever. Every time I put on my concealer, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's blending so well. Like, it literally blends out so effortlessly and so easy. And I have no issue with any cracks and fine lines under my eyes. My under eyes are always so moisturized and hydrated. I just like, I'm just like, I'm so impressed with my under eyes. Even, I mean, now I've been kind of like not getting all to sleep and they're still looking solid. So I have been using this for a while and I just started seeing results. So if you have this and you haven't seen results like super soon, just keep using it. I promise it is amazing. I do know they have a like extreme hydrating or like one that's more thick, but I like this one because I am oily. Even if I put it under my eyes, I don't want it to be like super, super thick. I don't like that. But I love this one. So this has been my holy grail for the entire month. This is probably my favorite product out of this entire video. I have the Mario Badescu. I think that's how you say it. I'm not positive. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is awesome too. You can use this if you want to set your makeup, if you want to prep your skin for makeup, if you want to just put this on when you wake up in the morning to kind of wake yourself up and kind of moisturize your skin and hydrate your skin. I like to use this actually after my skincare regimen at night when I want to just like lock everything in, give myself an added mist of moisture and hydration and I just love the way this makes my skin feel. I love the way it smells because it smells like roses and I've just been loving it a lot and it's really affordable. You can get it at Ulta. So I've been loving this and it's awesome. I have no issues with it, with especially with my oily skin too. So I do have a couple of face products. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. So I mentioned this before, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I just want to mention it again because I feel so bad for this little guy because I was so rude to him at first when I first started using him and I hated him. Like, isn't that so sad? I hated him. But now he's in my favorites video, which is awesome. I used the color 103 Natural Buff like I said, I hated this foundation when I first used it. I don't know if I was applying it wrong, if I applied too much. I don't know what the deal was, but I've been loving this. I love mixing it with other things too to give me more coverage and that kind of matte feel. If I have one that's more of a natural finish, I mix a little bit of this in to kind of give it that more of like a matte, semi-matte finish. I've just been loving this and it's amazing. It's from the drugstore, so what more can you love? I've also been loving this. I don't know what took me so long to use this. I've had it in my drawers for so long. And I don't know why I didn't break it out before. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I have her mineral powders and I love them. I actually used it today to set my face. But I've been loving this to bake. 
bake. Um, I don't bake on a daily basis. If I'm like doing an extra glam look like I kind of would today, I would have used this today or to kind of clean up my contour. You can even use this all over your face. If you want like that really baby butt smooth, no pores, everything's erased, all your fine lines are gone, skin, then this is the product for you. You will literally have airbrush skin if you use this. This is pricey, but you are getting about an ounce of product, which is a lot. A little bit, it goes a long way with this, especially because it's so finely milled. Like I said, your skin will literally look like a baby's butt. It's going to be so smooth, so airbrushed. People will think you have tons of filters on your face when it's just really this powder. <laughs> Next, I have this product right here. I mentioned this in my Sephora haul and oh my god this is so beautiful. This is the NARS Stephen Klein Dual Intensity Blush in the color Vengeful. I swatched it right here for you guys so I don't have to swatch it again. Um, but this is the highlighter in that duo and this is the blush. This is just like a really nice pale white gold highlighter and this is a beautiful like crimson brick red blush most pigmented things I've ever tried. I have a bunch of the other dual intensity blushes from NARS but this is by far the most pigmented smooth blendable one I've ever tried and I cannot get enough of it. If you have not tried it or touched it or put it on your face or even bought it do it because it is limited edition but it's so beautiful you need to get your hands on it. I promise you will love it. I have another highlighter. This has been very talked about and very hyped up but I actually have been loving it more than Max Oh Darling. Did I just say that? I think so. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I'm wearing this right now. I look like a disco ball or a light bulb, flashlight, whatever you want to call it. I am glowing from the heavens and I love it. As you can see, I mean you can see it on my cheeks right now. It's just so beautiful. Personally, I think it's more pigmented than my Max O oh Darling. I don't know if I got a shitty O oh Darling, but this has just been, I've been reaching for this all month long and it's just, I get compliments every time I wear it. I'm just like, Phew. highlighter is in your face. So good. It's actually so good. So good. I have been loving this, which is very interesting to me because I never thought I would buy something like this, but never say never. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I actually got this because I was going to do an all e.l.f. tutorial. I still have it in the back of my mind, but it's more like a summery look than more of a winter look. So I will be doing it, but I decided to pull this out now. Don't know why. So this is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, like I said, in the color medium. I don't use the waxy side too, too much. Um, I really just use the powder and I do like it. I mean, I like it for the fact that it's so affordable. The Anastasia powders and products are so expensive sometimes, but this is awesome. I have been really getting into powders more than like the brow whizzes and the pencils and the dip brows and stuff like that. Just because I feel like it's, it looks more natural sometimes and it's just easier to just like throw on. And you don't have to like worry about sharpening your pencil and all that kind of stuff. So I've really been loving this and it's really affordable. You can get it at Target, you can get it online. I know they're having a 50% off sale right now. So this is going to be like $1.50. So had to mention it. All right, a couple of eye products. I never thought I would mention a mascara in my favorites because, I mean, I wear mascara all the time, but I have non-existent lashes to the point where I feel like mentioning a mascara is not even worth it. A lot of mascaras don't even do anything for my lashes, but the fact that this one pairs so well with my Lancome like lash primer is just heavenly to me. So this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Like I said, I have like non-existent lashes pretty much. So I've been really into more length than volume and the lash primer will give me the volume and this will give me that length, which is what I want. I never thought I would like this because of the spoolie. I never thought I would like like plastic spoolies like this. I'm t kind of like that natural haired, like very, you know, typical mascara person when it comes to the brush. But this I've actually been really been loving and I've been reaching for it every single day. I wore it today in my vlog if you want to see it just like by itself with like no makeup on. Um, but I've been loving this and I've been reaching for it all day, all day, all day, every day. I love it. Maybelline, never stop making this mascara. All right, this next product I know I've mentioned on my channel before. These are the Coco Lashes and Goddess. Are you kidding? Look, look how beautiful. These are very similar to House of Lashes Iconic and I just cannot get enough of these. They're so much more affordable than those. I think those are like $12 for a pair and these are like six or seven dollars. I actually just stocked up on a lot of these because Lady Moss Beauty was having a 30% site-wide sale and you know I had to get my hands on more of these. I should probably throw these away because they have you know bit the dust because they have been used so many damn times but I've been loving them. 
They're just so, so dramatic and so beautiful. You can wear them with anything if you just want to wear them by itself, with liner, with any look you want. They go with everything and I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're probably my favorite lashes of all time. I said it, I said it. All right, last but not least, I have a couple of lip products. So the first two I'm actually wearing on my lips right now is the combo I have on. So the lip liner I am wearing is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color Essence Snob. I know I mentioned this in my Ulta haul and I've been wearing it all the time. So this is what it looks like right on the top there. It's just so creamy, it's so pigmented, it's just that perfect everyday neutral pink and I cannot get enough of this. I love it and I love the applicator too because it is slanted if you guys can see that. It just makes it so easy to put on and really like get some really defined lines on your lips. So I've really been loving this and what I paired with it today I'm wearing Kat Von D Lolita. I know I'm like really late to the ball game on this one but I'm really glad I got it. I didn't think I would actually like it on me because I used to wear like concealer colored nudes but I've really been loving like darker nudes and I don't know. I never thought I'd wear something like this, but I'm obsessed. So <laughs> this is Lolita. Uh, you probably don't even need a swatch of it, but I'm going to show you all anyways because I know it's all over the internet and I, like broke the internet at one point, but I love this. And last but not least, I have a Sephora collection product. This is the Oil Infusion Color and Care in the color Iced Coffee 09. So I know I mentioned this in my Sephora haul and I kind of related it and compared it to the YSL Oil Infusion Tints. I don't know if that's the exact wording of what they're called, but I have actually, someone commented and saying that they thought that they were not similar whatsoever. Um, I only heard about that just because one of my friends told me that those are very similar and I've heard it on YouTube from a couple people also. I have personally not tried the YSL ones. I don't know if I will just because they're so expensive, but I thought this would be a great alternative. Like I said, I haven't tried them, so I don't know if they're comparable formula-wise, but it's just pretty much the same concept. But I've been loving this one. I don't consider it something I would wear with like a full-on glam look. It's just kind of like a throw-on, lip balm, kind of really glossy stain tint. So this is what the iced coffee color looks like. It's just like that beautiful, perfect, everyday pink, and I'm just obsessed with this. I just throw it on when I'm not wearing anything. It's very moisturizing, and it looks good with a lot of different things. So loving this, and... Yes. I really want to buy backups of this because I do not think I can live without this because it's so amazing. Alright, so that's it for this month's favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below on what your favorites for this month were. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to check out all my vlogs. Like I said, I'll leave my playlist link down below so you can check them all out. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!